Quick question for you. What's worse? Not washing your hands after using the bathroom. Not washing your hands after petting your dog or cat. And of course, let's not forget not washing your hands after blowing your nose. The answer? Well, honestly, I don't care if you do any of these things. However, if this is you, please don't shake my hand and don't offer to make me a sandwich. No, 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 no. But seriously, gents, despite us just coming out of a pandemic, it seems like most people are pretty bad when it comes to basic hygiene. Just yesterday, I took my wife to a restaurant as is customary for us. As soon as we entered, we went to the bathroom, washed our hands before eating. I noticed that nobody else seemed to do this. Now, I understand that was a small sample of maybe 15 people that I observed and who knows, maybe back in their cars, they were all using a hand sanitizer. Now, let's be clear. I'm not pushing OCD here where you're washing your hands a hundred times a day, but I do feel that many of us could brush up on our cleanliness, me included, because for the last couple of years, we've been in almost a state of isolation. I mean, when you're working from home, there are days, there are possibly weeks when you don't really see too many people. You could be walking around in your pajamas, scratching yourself wherever you want, sticking that nose, yeah, deep into the nostril to get out of there, whatever has been stuck in there for you at the last couple hours. Oh, yeah, I know. You didn't need a visual on that last one, right? Let's talk about bad habits a lot of people have when they're eating. First up, chewing with your mouth open. Nobody wants to see your food. So whenever you've got food in your mouth, chew with your mouth closed. Now, a great way to ensure you do this is to practice even when you're alone to put smaller bites into your mouth and to chew each bite 20 times before you swallow. Next up, avoid talking with your mouthful. Some of you guys may view this as a skill. Hey, you can get the point across despite having half a steak in your mouth, but most people view this as something that they would rather not have to see. Next up, let's talk about licking your fingers. Assuming again that you washed your hands, understand it. You're eating barbecue. The sauce is all over the place. Occasionally, it's fine. But the majority of the time, you want to be really careful about licking your fingers. That isn't a way to clean your hands. Next up, let's talk about licking the plate clean. I have a friend. I'm not going to embarrass him, but I saw him do this and I'm like, you know, I understand that you loved the food, but most people consider that not very good manners. And let's talk about double dipping. Guys, just put a bit of the sauce on your plate. Don't go in multiple times with that piece of celery or the carrot. I personally don't have an issue with this, but I know a lot of people just don't like it. Now let's jump into style mistakes. So first up, if you wear glasses, keep them clean. When I see dirty, greasy glasses, I want to take them off that person's face and properly clean them and hand them back. I don't even know how people can stand this, but uh, yeah, it just looks bad. Next up, let's talk about stained clothing. I know you washed it. Technically, it's clean, but it looks dirty and that's the effect it has on people. When they see that stain, they assume it's dirty and they assume that you're wearing dirty clothing, not something that you want to do. This is especially true with light colored white clothing. What's great about this though is you can run it through with stain removers bleach whiteners, but if the white is starting to go yellow, if it's just a stain that can't be removed, consider retiring the clothing. Next up, let's talk underwear. Daily, you want to be changing your underwear. Turning your underwear inside out is not the same as changing it. This includes socks, underpants, and undershirts. And speaking of underwear, gents, let me introduce you to today's sponsor, Sheath. Now, gents, I've been wearing Sheath underwear for years. I love it because of the pouch system. Seriously, it is my go-to underwear. It is incredibly comfortable. It keeps the twig and berries separate from your leg. So, if you deal with any type of chaffing, if you're sensitive down there, this is the underwear for you. In fact, Sheath underwear has been described as anatomically and ergonomically perfect when it comes to design and comfort. Now, a big part of that is the material. They use micromodal. They've also got bamboo and they have mesh. They have tons of options. And I need to talk about their story. So, Robert, the founder, he is a U.S. Army veteran. He was deployed and he was having sensitivity issues. The guy actually designed the first pair abroad because it was painful for him down there. And he was, he came back with this idea. He turned it into the business it is today. And again, gents, for the last few years, this has been my underwear of choice. First up, it's incredibly comfortable, but also incredibly durable. And what I like is I've got pairs that I've had for, yeah, coming in on four years. I've probably washed these things a hundred times and they are still not falling apart, which says a lot about the build quality of this underwear. So, gents, to get the best deal on sheath underwear, use that link in the description of today's video. I've got a special deal. It's not going to be around forever. Use that link, go over and check out all the options they've got for you. Sheath is for you and I love these things. So, now let's get into the grooming mistakes. First up is not showering daily. 
is there anyone out there that doesn't shower every day? I don't know. To me, this is just a basic thing, but I have met people that go quite a bit of time. I get it. You're up in the Arctic. You're out hunting for four to five days. Hey, more power to you. But for the majority of us, day to day, a simple shower, having that routine set up is a very good thing. Next up, your nails. Take care of your nails. The ladies especially notice this. I've seen so many women write on various forums that, yeah, he thinks he's going to put those fingers someplace. He better take care of those nails. So, there's three parts to this. First up, you want to clean them. You want to make sure that you're using a nail brush. If you have any type of nails, you want to make sure you're cutting them properly. That is going to be either with clippers or scissors. Scissors are better, but I get it. a lot of you guys like clippers. They're a little bit easier to handle. And finally, you want to make sure that you're using a file. When you're filing your nails, go in one direction and a steel file is nice, but a glass file is even better. Now, what if you chew your nails? I get it. This is a bad habit. They actually have a polish that you can put on your nails. I know it doesn't sound very manly, but guys, chewing your nails is even worse. Putting on that polish, it's going to taste horrible. But what I would recommend is just go simply go get a manicure. Why? Because when you spend good money on your nails, you're not going to chew them. You've spent money on this. You're not going to waste that money. And guess what? Magically, you're going to stop chewing your nails. And let me hear from you in the comments if you've overcome this. I know a lot of guys chew their nails, a bad habit, but I know that the manicure trick works for a lot of guys. But if you've got additional tips, I would love to hear it down below. Now, we talked about the fingernails, but let's talk about the toenails. And I get this most of the time it's covered. You're wearing socks. But if you wear sandals, if you wear flip-flops, if you're out around people barefoot, guys, take care of it. It's simple. A lot of the same rules apply. If you can, I like to have toe clippers, which are larger and heavier. There are nippers as well out there that are made to be able to deal with the thicker toenails. And again, if this isn't something you get to, treat yourself to a pedicure. Yes, a man can get a pedicure. It feels great to just, yeah, have somebody take care of your feet and boom, you're going to make sure that you pay attention to that and you're going to have feet to be proud of, right? Now, you definitely want to fix bad breath. One of the easiest things you can do is to simply drink more water water. In addition to brushing your teeth twice a day, flossing your teeth. Another thing a lot of guys skip on is scraping their tongue. I have a tongue scraper and a tongue brush. They are separate, they are different, and I use both of them once a day. And of course, let's not forget mouthwash. One minute rinse of mouthwash is good to go. I like a mouthwash with a bit of fluoride. Going to go in there and remineralize the tooth enamel. Now, gents, if you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and smash the like button. This lets me know that, hey, I need to make more videos like this. And if you didn't like it, well, I don't know, hit the dislike. Do they even have that button anymore? But guys, I seriously appreciate it when you engage with these videos. It lets the YouTube gods know that this video is worth watching. Next up, let's talk about hair. I'm not going to say that you need to shave everything off, but you should be manicured. I'm not going to go into details about the body, but I will talk about the visible parts of the body. So, first up, I get it. You want to have that five o'clock shadow. You want to have that little bit of stubble, but keep it in check. If you start to grow a beard, keep that beard in check. No one likes an unkempt beard that's all over the place. And speaking of hair all over the place, let's talk about that hair coming out of your nose and coming out of your ears. Those are not mini beards. You want to keep those in check. So, definitely for the nose, especially if you're a taller guy, nose clippers are a godsend. Very simple. They're relatively cheap too. You can go with the, the manual type or you can go with the electronic ones. I really like the electronic ones, especially the non-circular type, but you can also use these on your ears. Now, you can use tweezers to simply pull out the individual hairs. If you like pain, then go for it. But seriously, having a pair of flat tweezers can occasionally get that hair that is just growing randomly out of the center of your forehead. Yeah, it just, it looks, yeah, just take care of it. And let's talk about the neck beard. No, I'm not talking about the front. I'm talking about the back of the neck beard. Yeah, that one that grows after you haven't got a haircut for probably three to four weeks. Guys, this is a very simple fix and it can actually, if you take care of this, it can extend time between haircuts. Now, a lot of barbers will actually take care of this for free, especially if you are a consistent visitor. Just pop in there, maybe tip them a few bucks, but they'll get rid of that hair and this is, you know, in between cuts and it looks a lot better than, yeah, again, letting a big puff of hair grow back there. Next up, let's talk about spitting. And I know down in the comments, people have pointed out occasionally in my videos a bit, I spit and it flies right out. Hey, this happens, but I do find it happens whenever my mouth is dry. If you keep your mouth moist. And again, drinking water is great for better breath. You are going to find that you probably spit less because your mouth is just easier for you to talk. Also, focus in on your pronunciation. Sometimes when you're talk, trying to talk too quickly, you are going to spit more, but you don't want to be having a conversation and spit right in somebody's eye. It happens and uh, it's embarrassing, 
but try to avoid it. That being said, spitting just on the floor. This is a bad habit that I think, and I had friends growing up that they were always hawking a loogie, spitting that thing out. A lot of them smoked, a lot of them dipped, uh, and I get it, you know, wanted to get that stuff out of there, but doing it in front of other people. Again, you don't even think about this, and that's what we're talking about here, are habits that are almost unconscious. It is, I think, a disgusting habit, but if you don't think it's bad, let me know in the comments below. I personally don't think it's something, and I would try to break that habit, especially when you're just spitting to spit. Again, if you've got something back there, get rid of it, but um, just if this is a habit, you might want to look to break it. Now, what about scratching your balls? What about adjusting yourself in public? I don't think this is nearly as bad as what people make it out to be. I get it. If you itch, if you've got irritation, maybe you want to be a bit discreet about it. Maybe you want to go to the bathroom to adjust yourself, but it is something that just be aware. There's a lot of guys that they are instinctively, it's just something they do again and again. We're talking multiple times an hour. That is probably more of a habit that you're falling into versus something you're trying to actually deal with an irritation or an itch. Next up, let's talk about coughing. Let's talk about sneezing. You want to make sure to cover your mouth. Sounds obvious, but there are still many people out there that don't do this. So, if you don't have any, you know, a tissue, simply use your hands. If you can't use your hands, then use your elbow but right in here. You want to cough in there, maybe go down. You don't want to cough on people. You don't want to cough towards people. I read a comment the other day that it's actually more socially acceptable to fart next to somebody than it is to actually cough next to them nowadays after everything going on in the world. I don't know about that, but I will say that simply having basic manners here, making sure, you know, maybe carry a handkerchief with you, have a tissue that you can grab if you know you're going to be allergic to something. If you've got allergies, you're going to be sneezing. You want to make sure that you're not, you know, throwing that stuff everywhere. All right, Jen, so what video to watch next? How about style mistakes that make you look like a loser? I'm sorry to say, but yeah, these are these are not good ones and they're different from the ones I just covered in this video. So again, if you want to make sure you're not out there making style mistakes, check out this video right here. It's a good one.